We strolling players would still be performing for hands full of people where there are no cameras to record our actions. Early screen actors worked in outdoor sunshine, and the people who recorded them learned to control light, to darken it, diffuse it, bounce it, and bend it. They turned their science into the art we now acknowledge as cinematography. While still working to perfect black and white movies, impatient men were experimenting with color. In 1903, some scenes in the great train robbery were painstakingly colored by hand. A process called kinema color captured the ample charms of the legendary Lillian Russell in 1912. Technicolor was a sensational all-color process that reached its glory with Gone with the Wind. Today's faster film, smaller cameras, and sharper lenses allow modern artists to bring even more realistic emotional portraits to our screen. The five cinematographers nominated by their peers are Alan Davio for Avalon. Dean Semler for Dances with Wolves. Vittorio Storaro for Dick Tracy. Gordon Willis for Godfather Part Three. Philippe Rousselot for Henry and June. Congratulations, gentlemen. And the Oscar goes to Dean Semler, Dances with Wolves. It's a bit like facing 3,000 buffalo. <laughs> I think Dancers would have been a fabulous, fine movie, even if it had been shot on Super 8. And Kevin and Jim, all I can say is thanks. Thanks for having me aboard. Um, and thanks for not shooting it in Super 8. I had, a, <laughs> I had a fabulous crew that were very supportive, and I love them all and thank them all. My wife, Annie, the blonde bombshell from Down Under, thanks. My daughter Ingrid, hi. Thanks for your love, your patience. I'm a very proud little Aussie up here tonight to accept this. Um, and I thank you all. I thank the Academy and I thank America. Thanks.